Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss some coding and SQL questions that is commonly asked in Cognizant and I will explain the problem statement, show the solution and even I will show you dry runs with example. These are very recent questions that is asked by the Cognizant. First we will see the SQL questions. The problem statement is we have the user table with the following columns id names and emails the task is to display the name and email id of all user whose email id contains specific first name for example jonah so i will create a separate reference i couldn't have a exact database schema so let us assume the reference tables in the reference table we have id name and email and here we have five id and their name and email ids in this we need to write a query which matches with the uh, first name of each the email id here we use the like keyword to find the email containing the word john the symbol percentage is used as a wildcard which matches any sequence of a character before or after john so all the user who has email of john anywhere will be selected so the next question in the sql is we have a visitor table columns or visitor name ticket type enclosure name and enclosure type the question is to display the visitor name ticket type enclosure name and type of visitor who at ticket is not child and enclosure type is not at take so let us assume the reference tables with visitor id visitor name ticket type enclosure name enclosure type so you have to note one thing this is the just a reference table uh, and uh, in the cognizant if you see the view database options uh, there will be mostly uh, like uh, the second question is most commonly is consist of joins uh, like they will ask you to join two tables and present you the answer so it will be completely different from you are seeing here so you have to know this one thing this is the reference table for our practice so in the sql query we have to display in the select statement visitor name ticket type enclosure name enclosure type as type from visitor table we are taking that and where ticket type is child and enclosure type is arteka we are given that and this will be your accepted output the explanation of this expected output is here the symbol operator which is filled out the child tickets and arctic enclosures the s type is just to rename the column and the output so you need to see this thing next we will skip into the java coding question the java question is virtual battle power reduction in a virtual battle soldiers are standing in a row each row has a specific power level stored in the integer array a the army is split into left and right half each other soldiers can reduce the power of soldier in the opposite of reduction amount is a of i minus a of j if a of i is greater than a of j our task is to calculate the total reduction inflicted by each other side let us understand this problem first the soldiers are in the line with the power in an array we have to split the left and right half each soldiers can reduce a power of soldiers on the opposite side if the power is higher reduction is equal to my power minus the opponent power for we have to find the total reduction left to right and right to left let us take one array example for the left side we have 5 3 and 8 for the right side we have 2 6 and 4 next we will see the left reduces right 5 is greater than 2 the difference between them is 3 next 5 is less than 6 there is no reduction so 0 5 is greater than 4 so reduction is 1 3 is greater than 2 3 minus 2 is 1 8 is greater than 2 8 minus 2 is 6 8 is greater than 6 8 minus 6 is 2 8 is greater than 4 8 minus 4 is 4 a total reduction in the left side is 17 let's see the right side the right side reduction is 5 we have to write a java code for this 
first we have to initialize the int integer type for the right and uh, left and we have to give the mid equal to n divided by 2 because we are splitting the an array for the left reduce we are iterating to the two loops and finding the left reductions next coming to the right reduction we are doing the same thing and finding the right reduction next we have to return the left and right reductions i will give one question to practice yourself and i can and get only sql and coding question for the 23 and 24 technical interview questions if you had share the recent questions you have got for the cognizant technical assessment it will be helpful for the two students who are attending in the upcoming days if you need old year questions like for the 2025 batch having a cognizant assessment in the previous year there in this pdf you can find all the questions like uh, the question with a dry run and a solution in java and python only there will be separate pdf for c sharp cluster i will give link in the description or in the comment section you can buy this pdf and if you practice this pdf you can get one idea how you should crack your cognizant assessment if you have any doubts Please come and down and join our 2026 batch telegram channel daily we are sharing the recent cognizant technical assessment thanks for watching do well in the assessment and after grieving assessment most peoples are having interview within next date if you did your assessment well prepare for the interview because some of them are not getting enough time to prepare for an interview another thing i I must to tell you is uh, most people are skipping first question to the second one like if you did not completed the first question and skipping to the second question you cannot go back to the first question because the cognizant technical assessment is unidirectional which means you cannot go back once you attended and switch back to the next questions please note down this still many students are doing this mistake so that's all i need to discuss in the video thank you do subscribe and share to the friends who are attending technical interview or assessment in the upcoming days.